ओके हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल दैट फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल ट्यूटोरियल प्रैक्टिकल ट्यूटोरियल रिलेटेड टू पी एल सी एज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस कोरोना वायरस वी आर यूजिंग द डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म टू टीच यू द बेसिक्स ऑफ पी एल सी हाउ टू ड्रॉ द लैडर कोडिंग how to develop the ladder coding based on the sequence already this part we covered now also we decided that some portion of practical plc like how which software we can use for the plc ladder whether we can able to do the simulation from where to download that software this all the points today from this video lecture i'm going to start answering one by one then our first task to understand exactly which software we are using for the plc now if you go in the uh, google and if you search open plc sorry if you search open plc then you will get the first link the open plc project just click on that then you will get www.openplcproject.com now this is the website where we can get the open source design to be open source software for the plc the plc is the first fully function standardized open source plc we are getting the open source plc software to get the open source plc software like if you say some uh, basics is also given on this page just click the get started get started and there you are getting the three option run time editor and hmi builders scada for the scada then right now we are interested in uh, interested in open plc editor only then just click open plc editor and below you are getting the two option open plc editor v1.0 for window open plc editor v1.0 for linux based on your operating system just download the zip file for example as i am using the window i will click on the window then uh, it will open one drive a uh, google drive and it will ask download this you need to click download it will throw the action as a zip file uh, we can uh, the google is unable to scan it uh, might be the viruses are there like this it will throw some er uh, error uh, some uh, we can say notification the size is 136 mb just click download anyway after downloading you are getting in download this kind of zip file open plc which is already i downloaded open plc editor v1.0 window dot zip right click and unzip extract the file here okay it will take some time for the extraction okay once the extraction is done open the open plc editor folder then you are getting the various folder and one you can do the shortcut the name is open plc editor just click on that open plc shortcut now our software will be open now this is the open plc software uh, in which we can create the ladder coding we can verify the uh, we can compile it and once the compile is completed we can upload this code in the plc but as uh, we are not having the plc everyone home that because of that here we are using the simulation part uh, we will cross check uh, we will see that means we will learn how to develop the ladder coding how to compile it and how to simulate it in inside this open plc editor now if you check at the top most the put down menu pull down menu here we are uh, file editor display type normal uh, normally we are getting in microsoft office Like in file, we are getting new, open, recent project, save as, save, sorry, save, save as, close tab, uh, close project. Inside the editor, undo, redo, cross, copy, paste. This kind of option we are getting. And un inside the display, later the refresh, clear error, zoom. This kind of operation option we are getting display in help section, community support, and about this software, the contents are there. Below that, uh, if you want to create the new project, the shortcut menus are the icons are there. Open the new uh, some projects are there. The icon is a save, save as, print. undo redo cut copy paste search in project and toggle full screen model on the left hand side the project file is there we are getting the whatever the project file we are creating that hierarchy will be shown over here 
uh, this is I can say the debug instant we are getting the debugging this is a console uh, where we are getting the PLC log as well as search uh, everything we are getting and right inside libraries are there might be right now it is EMT everything uh, because uh, we are not created any new file to create the first project uh, you need to create uh, on this new over here this new icon or you could uh, go in file and click on new or you can place control plus and from the keyboard for the shortcut then uh, it will ask select a folder requirement is that whatever the folder you are going to select it should be empty because of that i am creating a new folder and i will rename it like uh, first plc ladder diagram i will select this folder and select folder now it will ask program name just write down the first ladder diagram and the language is ld ladder diagram press ok now first ladder diagram is uh, created under the variable res0 and here also previously it's showing the library empty but here now as the ladder coding is generated based on the ladder coding various options they are showing for the time uh, comparison like uh, all the comparison selection bitwise and or xor not all the options like a standard some count timer on delay timer off delay like this options we are getting over here previously showing the blank and here also uh, just previously when i have not created the any new fold uh, new project that time it is showing till toggle full screen and it's saying the run generate pan move comment uh, power rail that left rider that new coil new contact open or close new variable new block and new connection like this options we are getting over here now create your first ladder coding important is that you need to create first variable how many variables are you as i said in the my previous video lectures also when we are developing the ladder coding there also we are creating first table we are making a table how many input variables are there how many output variables are there same way here also we need to identify the variable name and their addresses and their types then to add the variable here on this description we need to use this plus sign then we can add the variable and click the first add variable i can give the address as uh, x100 and the type of this x100 is base type bull boolean again i place the one more and i will give this as a y100 we are going to develop a simple code initially first we can write down the in, in, in description is push button and here i can write down the as a output file okay output this is a push button and here i'm getting the output output led for more precise now we get the two variable now simple i'm going uh, i'm creating a table uh, creating a we can say program today with the help of one push button and one uh, we can say uh, the led then i can uh, right click over here and i can use the add or i can use this uh, command whatever uh, you can wish for example if you want to add this power rail you can click and click over here then it will ask whether you want to rail power rail on the left side or right side and first we are st start adding on the left side then uh, we can add the uh, the contact the contact again same click over here and click on this side then again is asking what I have called by normally open normally close negative uh, neg uh, negated rising age falling age then normally we are using only normally normal or uh, normally open and normally close negative type okay then normally open this one and the variable name is x100 press ok after that the output coil then uh, we can add the output coil from here also and as well as right if you do the right click we can get the output from here also add uh, coil again it will ask oh, uh, normally this uh, reverse output here forward output whatever the input i'm getting the same based on that it should behave yeah it should behave uh, reverse manner then we are using the normal whatever we are using till now and the variable is y100 okay and for the right rail again add power rail right okay now just make the correction just click and drag click and drag click and track our first ladder is completed now to do uh, do the simulation uh, what we need to do we need to run this code first okay if you run this code it will uh, show uh, some option over here cleaning the build uh, dictionary and plc started that means if any error is there it will throw uh, some in red line error but as our code is proper the ladder coding as per the requirement is uh, everything is good and it's not showing any throw it is proper 
Now to uh, if you want to do, uh, do the simulation over here on uh, on the same open PLC editor, then you can click over here debug instant. Once you click the debug instant, the debugger is started. The simulation is started. It will show over here how many uh, seconds it will it is running that uh, PLC. Now on here, if you right click and if you say force true, now just see everything become red. That means I'm getting the output. LED is glow one kind of. If I right click and force all then LED is off. If I again I press the LED uh, push button, LED is on. If I again press the pull, uh, this one, LED is off. Like this, we are complete our first ladder coding, simple ladder coding simulation. We can stop this LED uh, simulation from here. And if you want to run, we can again run and do the debug. This is all about the simple LED code we developed uh, in this video lecture. That means in this video lecture we learn uh, from where we can download the open PLC, uh, what uh, that interface of the PLC, what are the interface of CLC and we completed our simple PLC ladder coding in this video lecture. In this next video lecture again I will come with the, some simple PLC ladder coding uh, with the latching, branching I can say and after that uh, one more video I am going to complete later with a timer. Uh, in this video lecture is that much. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye. Take care.